Hi all, Cricket Mania is back with another new video for you. But before that if you are new to this channel and not yet subscribed then subscribe to the Cricket Mania channel and also click the bell icon to get all the information and latest buzz around the cricket world. Cricket Mania the Indian women's team committed batting Harakiri despite a fine half-century from opener Smriti Mandhana to lose the third and final T20 international to Australia by 14 runs in the series 0-2 here on Sunday. Chasing a challenging 150-run target, Mandhana smashed 52 of 49 balls and shared 57 runs with Jemima Rodriguez, 23 of 26, for the second wicket to set the platform for India before the visitors lost four wickets in a span of 10 runs to lose the plot. For Australia, right-arm pacer Nicola Carey, 2 for 42, was the pick of the bowlers, while Ashley Gardner, 1 for 22, Annabelle Sutherland, 1 for 13, and Georgia Wareham, 1 for 15, scalped a wicket each. India thus ended their Australia to a heartbroken, having already lost the three-match ODI Series 1-2 before drawing the rain marred lone historic day and night test. India's run chase started in a disappointing fashion as they lost hard-hitting opener Shefali Verma, one early, caught by Vleeming Cat short fine leg off Gardner in the second over. But Mandhana looked in ominous touch as she displayed her wide range of shots pulling, clipping off the pads and hitting through covers region, to pick up three boundaries in the fifth over. Mandhana and Rodriguez played with caution with the former finding the boundaries in between as India reached 54 runs in the tenth over. Rodriguez then hit Wareham straight over mid-on in the next over but she departed two balls later in search of too many boundaries, caught at long off by Vleemink. Mandhana soon reached her 50 off just 46 balls with a boundary of carry but she perished four balls later, caught by Australia skipper Meg Lanning as India reached 93 for three by the end of the 15th over. Needing 57 off 30 balls, India's chase derailed thereafter as they lost two more quick wickets, including that of skipper Harmanpreet caught 13. It was yet another failure from Kaur as she drove one straight to Lanning off Sutherland while trying to clear the inner circle. Pooja Vastrakar, 5, was then cleaned up by Carey in the next over as India slumped to 99 for 4 in the 17th over. From there on, it was no looking back for Australia as they restricted India to 135 for 6. Richa Ghosh remained unbeaten on 23 of 11 balls while Deepthi Sharma was not out on 9. Earlier, opener Beth Mooney scored a half-century while Talia McGrath provided late flourish with an unbeaten 44 to help Australia put on board a decent 149 for 5. Opting to field first after winning the toss, the Indian bowlers picked up wickets at regular intervals but the hosts scored 40 runs in the last 19 balls to seize the momentum. Left-arm spinner Rajeshwari Gaikwad, 2 for 37, Renuka Singh, 1 for 23, Pooja Vastrakar, 1 for 24, and off spinner Deepthi Sharma, 1 for 24, with the wicket takers for India as Australian batters struggled to score freely in the middle overs. Mooney top scored for Australia with a 43 ball 61 with 10 boundaries. Towards the end, McGrath scored 44 not out of 31 balls and together with Georgia Wareham, 13 not out, added 32 valuable runs for the sixth wicket to get Australia close to the 150 run mark. McGrath hit six boundaries and won six. India made one change, bringing in Harleen Deol in place of Yastika Bhatia. Australia too made a change with Annabelle Sutherland coming in for Hannah Darlington. India had lost the second T20I by four wickets, while the opening game was washed out. The Indian That's it guys for now. If you like this video then hit that like button. Also don't forget to share it with your buddies. And let us know your thoughts on this in the comment section. Tada!